Welcome back. More and more signs are emerging with a favorable prognosis on an economy that's bouncing back. The latest economic indicator is rooted in the massive gains being made in Grenada's real estate sector. The sector has expanded rapidly, a clear sign that the country's economy is back on track. Annette Moore is following this story. There's strong growth in the industry, that's clear. Grenadians are saying, look, this is our country, we need to invest in it. So persons are, are, are getting the impression, I mean, whatever is the source of information, that things are getting better. The bankers have released their stringent hold on funds and um, they started to make financing more available to buyers. Grenada is known to have prime real estate property, whether it's a spot for a five-star resort, a high-end rental villa, or a nesting place for new homeowners. The island is recognized as a luxury destination, known for its low crime rate and scenic locations, including breathtaking beachfront properties that are the envy of the Caribbean. I will say Grenada is naturally more beautiful than many of the other Caribbean islands. And um, this response I have had in asking my clients myself. Uh, we have been having a lot more persons calling our office, a lot more persons um, showing interest in actually um, purchasing property, um, quite, quite motivated. We've also seen a number of persons who are willing to sell. We have a lot of inventory on the market. Century 21 recently produced the latest report on the real estate industry in Grenada. They've been conducting this research for the past five years and noted its importance in informing critical investor decisions. They use a comprehensive set of information sources in compiling their reports. It really gave us um, credible um, evidence-based um, information that we can actually use um, not uh, within our own establishments to guide you know our strategies but also nationally the real estate agents shared their insight into grenada's real estate industry's climb out of the recessionary period um, a lot of it has to do with the global marketplace uh, the world has also went through that same downturn starting with the uh, kind of economic collapse of 2008 which really impacted the global real estate markets the good news is that in 2012-2013, there was once again some mobility in the industry. There is also just, an, uh, I guess, an intrinsic um, innate desire for our people to begin to move on. Um, I mean, we can't always say that we're in a recession, could we? No. The Century 21 report states that in 2015, the sales volume was reportedly 71% higher than it was in 2014, with sales of U.S. 40.7 million, compared to U.S. 23.8 million in 2014. There were about 40 sales each month that year, with an average transaction value of U.S. $84.7 thousand, an increase of 64% over 2000. That is ably supported be, uh, um, by the increased access to credits that financial institutions are now also um, offering um, um, credit opportunities. The interest rate dropped a bit. We've seen uh, young Grenadians now looking to purchase their first property and the local market is showing more confidence mm -hmm. in the economy in purchasing. So I think uh, for, for that, we've also seen that increase. Additionally, the Century 21 report notes increased approvals for the construction of commercial units and increased occupancy in some commercial complexes. With the expansion of the SGU complex, the, um, this is St. George's University, there was a demand for more rental housing. There is also a positive offshoot from the recession. The properties are more affordable at this point, right. and they are getting um, more and more affordable, and it's a buyer's market. Sales values are currently trending at about 15% below asking prices. Power of sale or customer land sold due to default of payments to banks accounted for 12% of all sales in 2015. McBarnett said that lending institutions' policies are now allowing those properties to move rapidly off the market. More so than the individual owner, the average owner, the banks would tend to reduce the offer price. So our sellers, they're also willing to accept a slightly reduced price on their property. So you've got more liquidity in, the, in our main feeder markets, which would be Canada, 
the U.S. and the U.K. And those feeder markets aren't simply for foreign buyers, but specifically the diaspora. 63% of our uh, local real estate industry are Grenadians. Foreign purchases comprise 25% of the buyer's market, with 50% of those coming from the United Kingdom. British buyers account for 81% of the total value of all foreign buyer transactions in 2015. The value added here is that when this person's purchase, normally some of them might purchase, it might be a rental home, they might not move in immediately and occupy permanently. So that also opens up opportunities for rental um, investments. Agents noted several factors that will allow for sustainable growth in the real estate sector in Grenada. The Citizenship by Investment Program, or CBI, allows qualified investors in Grenada to apply for Grenadian citizenship. It was introduced in 2013 by government to increase foreign direct investment. And the Citizenship by Investment Program has stimulated interest in large development tracks. Keller noted the Silver Sands and Petite Calavini projects as two such positive manifestations of the CBI program. Meanwhile, real estate agencies are doing their best to capitalize on the current positive growth, actively using social media and other communication strategies, including educational radio programs and community awareness events. I think we are changing and we're probably becoming a lot more direct, a lot more personal, a lot more face-to-face, -face, as opposed to, you know, this abstract group that's somewhere there, but we're not sure what they're doing. Real estate agents share their outlook on the future of the real estate sector. I think the real estate market will continue to gradually increase. SG is actually um, on track to be taking in a lot more students each year, so obviously there are new opportunities and it might not just be limited to apartments. Robert sees the surplus of properties in the north of the island in parishes like St. Patrick as an additional opportunity. Because I think with the north, all we need is really just one something that's great. And, um, you know, that entire um, uh, uh, economy there can be completely transformed. Roberts also believes that there are similar potential opportunities in the eastern part of the island and in Karakou. Once our economy starts to rebound and um, we're getting a lot more robust economic activity and um, you know persons like yourself and others are be beginning to believe that they can pay back these loans or they can finance it themselves they are going to venture out as it stands for the grenadian real estate sector the only place they're heading is up for state of affairs i'm annette moore this is state of affairs more stories from the heartland after this